Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome to the channel. Molly Boy TV here. Today, we're reacting to Stevie Nicks, Edge of 17. Stevie Nicks. You know how I feel about Stevie Nicks. You know how I feel about this woman's voice. Yeah. That's if you're not new to the channel anyway. I've been really, really looking forward to reacting to this one. Out of the four that I've got to do for today, this is the one that I was looking forward to reacting to the most. I'm hoping that because I have lo been looking forward to this one the most, I don't get disappointed because I think this is actually going to be the first time hearing Stevie Nicks on her own. The rest we've done are all Fleetwood Mac. I think we've only ever done two Fleetwood Mac ones actually. Really? I think we did a few Fleetwood Mac on some live streams as well, but this is going to be the first one with just Stevie Nicks, so I'm really looking forward to this and I'm hoping that I don't get let down. I really don't think I will though, I'm not going to lie. There's something about Stevie Nicks's vocals, her persona, everything. I kind of wish we had a performance to watch, but unfortunately we don't. We've just got these audios. We're just going to make do sometimes. I'm not going to waffle. We're just going to get on with this. If you enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button. But other than that, mate, Let's go! Bro, what are you talking about, man? The problem is we like singers like this. Is that their voices are so good. that I wish I could go in depth about their voices and things that I like about them the most. And like different vocal techniques that they use. But I'm not. I'm not a vocal teacher. I'm not a vocal expert. So I can talk about these things. But I can't use the proper terms. I'll have to, I can only explain in the way that I explain things. So hopefully we can do that. You guys will still understand what I'm talking about. Also, I know that you guys love when I pause and rewind and stuff like that. But I still sometimes feel bad at the fact that I do it. I'm going to say this. I apologise if I pause and rewind a lot during this. But also I don't care. Anyway, Edge of 17. Let's go. Okay, this was not expected at all. Stevie Nicks, I guarantee this won't be the first time, but you almost made a, a grown man cry. I know I don't look like a grown man, but I am 24, believe it or not. You almost made a grown man cry with those vocals. Go again. Why is the way this coming in reminding me of um, Eye of the Tiger? I feel like it's going to go... Dan, 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 dan. Enough joking about it, come on. She might be the best female vocalist I've ever heard. She definitely 100% might be the best vocalist I've ever heard. There's something about this woman's voice, man. She has sort of like a raspy, a raspy tone to her vocals. I don't even need a music video for this. I'm adding this to the playlist as well, instantly. The playlist link will be in the description. I promise you guys will like it if you're new to the channel. Trust me, just trust me, the best playlist you'll ever have heard. Stevie Nicks, add to playlist. Molly Boy TV's playlist, done. Look, I ain't even exaggerating when I think this woman might have the best female vocals I've ever heard in any genre of music. I can't even compare it to and these yeah, I can't compare it to anything. Today, maybe I will go again tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, well, the music there, well, it was. 
I love this build up as well, mate. Oh my god, the guitar in the background as well. I feel like I'm focusing so much on these vocals that I'm missing things in the background. I didn't realise that guitar was in that background until the second time hearing that. This is how powerful this woman's vocals are, bruv. If this is how she sounds away from Fleetwood Mac, no, I can't even I can't even say that. That wouldn't be very respectful to Fleetwood Mac. I feel like I would go down the Stevie Nicks rabbit hole before the Fleetwood Mac rabbit hole, genuinely, because at this point, this is you can't match this man. If she's, okay, if there's any songs by Fleetwood Mac that sound similar to this or she's singing in it like this or whatever, just similar to this, you know what to do, please. Oh. And the snare drum as well and the kick drum. The whole song just sounds like a builder. With this whole song, he's literally just a builder. Too short. Come back. Come back, man. I almost feel like I don't want to listen to that again straight away because I don't want to overplay it and ruin it. But that is the best I've ever heard from Stevie Nicks. Well, that was Stevie Nicks, Edge of 17. You all pretty much would have gathered that the crush on Stevie Nicks is still there. Bro, you, she must have taken some vocal lessons to have a voice like that. I'm serious. The raspiness to it, but hitting the high notes as well. Even that. That hook, man, the white-winged dove, it's just catchy. 
I, I really like the fact that this whole song kind of sounded like a build up all the way through. Even even when we'd hit the hook, yeah, and like the guitars had properly come in. Even after that, I feel like that hook was still part of a build up, man. Those guitars really did remind me of Eye of the Tiger by Survivor. And that is an iconic tune, but you can't do it better than Stevie Nicks, bruv. I'm sorry. I don't care how much of a tune that other song is. I, I don't even know what to say, bruv. I felt like that whole song was just mesmerizing. I wish there was a music video to that. Okay, yeah, maybe it was a good job there wasn't a music video to that. I don't know what it is like. Do you know what? I've never, I don't know if it's because I wouldn't have listened to this music before or what, but I've never been so, look, I've never gravitated so much towards a female singer from this era before. I've never had a crush on one, but and I think the, the main thing is that voice. I think that voice is incredible. I haven't even heard a sing like that in, in Fleetwood Mac, I don't think. I'm, I'm literally trying to think, like I'm, I'm staring into space trying to think. We've heard The Chain, and that is a beautiful song as well, and she sings really well in that. I think we watched a live version for that, and yeah, again, that blew me away. That's what made me discover Stevie Nicks. But this is incredible. I, I really like this. I like, how ca I like the catchiness of this, you know, that white winged dove hook. That's on the playlist now. I'm gonna make sure not to listen to that again straight away. I will again today, but not straight after, because there's some songs I react to where I'll listen to them straight away afterwards and be like, damn, this is amazing. This is one of those ones where it's too good, where I don't want to overplay it and ruin it for myself. If anybody else runs a reaction channel, yeah, that watches my videos, because I know you do, and I know a lot of you take inspiration from what I post, but if there's any others, not, not even reaction people, yeah, if there's anyone that just listens to a song and likes to speak about a song afterwards, I can't be the only one who hears certain music and actually, like, at the end of it, doesn't know what to say, because they were just lost in the song in a sense that's the that, that's kind of where i'm at right now the only thing i can say is throw more stevie nick songs at me that are like this please throw ones at me as well if, if she's like this in fleetwood mac because i haven't heard much fleetwood mac yet so to go to so stevie nick's solo yeah and for it to be like this i'm now thinking do i just skip past fleetwood mac a little bit for a short while and just do stevie nick's for a bit or do I carry on with the Fleetwood Mac? Because I know people do enjoy those reactions too. Yeah, I need to go and take my mind off this one for a little bit. Jesus. That was Stevie Nicks, Edge of 17. I'm really sorry if I didn't say much on this one. Um, I kind of feel like for this one, this has happened a few times, but I feel like for this one, the reaction has done the talking for me. So I hope you enjoyed the reaction. This was the least expected song today. I didn't know Stevie Nicks on her own was actually going to end up being the best song I've reacted to today. If you enjoyed that one, guys, please make sure to hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. We're nearly at 100,000 subscribers. And if you want to see me do more from Stevie Nicks, more Fleetwood Mac, or more classic rock, the more you subscribe, the more I know that you want to see it. But other than that, it's been your boy, Molly Boy TV. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to um, I'm gonna go reset for five minutes and then come back to this song. I know I said I was going to wait a while, but now nah, I'm going to wait five minutes. Yeah, like I said, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.